This wasn't just, you know, uh, a weather event. This was our lives being wrecked and, and what we knew prior to 2005 being no more. So one of the reasons that I really wanted us to have a before and after was to illustrate the human impact of this disaster for the average visitor. Way too colorful to be katrina -fied. So we just made this little mixture. You're asking about colors and everything. And here is only the base coat. Once everything's in place, then we're gonna kind of create a filter in the room and do there and then all the putrid colors. So once these are in place, then we're able to play with them. I'm just having faith that what we do will will tell the story and will help future people recover from a disaster and or prevent a disaster. This was largely preventable. What people will see as they look through into the windows like a diorama, they will see what the people of this city saw when they came back from their flood-imposed exile. They will see mold, they will see furniture that's been turned over, they will see really utter chaos. And it was a devastating moment to, to hundreds of thousands of families when they returned home. Well, in addition to being able to look through the windows and see what residents saw when they got home from the flooding, we've also designed these museum quality plaques that will be posted on every single column of the house. Six of these telling the story chronologically in detail what happened the day before the levees broke right up until today, 13 years later. The date of the newspaper is Sunday, August 28th, the day before Katrina arrived. It's an eye opener for everyone to really take a look at their structures. We, we were very happy with the levees here and never thought that something like that would happen. Orange or red was human rescue and then the other ones were uh, there's 30,000 miles of levees protecting communities and farmland around the country. There's 1,000 miles on the, on the Mississippi River flooding. This is the part of your time. Here's the Corps of Engineers. I was like, oops, what do we do? Uh, here's, what they, here's what they build now. T-walls. And they've got miles. If we don't remember, then it could happen again. If we remember, then we can maybe prevent it or get through it a little bit better the next time. That's the wall there, all right? And the water came in and then circled around and it, it elevated in the neighborhood. 